that's a hormone we all have in our bodies, and that we call it ADH. ADH deals with the water balance in the body. So, when stress level goes up, via different channels, in the end it affects the ABH and the water balance in the body, and the dog will pee more. We sweat. When you get really stressed, you sweat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, sweaty hands, really hot, really sweaty, because water needs to come out because your stress level is a bit too high. We can sweat and we run to the toilet. Dogs cannot sweat so much, hardly anything at all. That's minimal. <coughs> so they have to pee. So as soon as a dog gets the higher stress level, water comes out. And that's why we can count the peeing and see if a dog is chronically stressed, if he pees too much during a day. It's a really <coughs> nice little thing to keep track of, to be able to see your dog stress now. So, there's nothing like marking territory. Dogs don't mark territory that way. Nobody does. So when they pee, it's for other reasons. Okay? If a chronically stressed dog pees a lot all the time. Naturally, he will drink more water. So you can also see it by the amount of water he's drinking. If he drinks several liters every day, you should really have a warning signal going on in your head. Because that is a sign of either diabetes or stress. And over, over time, they lose also minerals and vitamins during all this water getting out. So you very often have to check your dog's uh, sources of minerals and vitamins and you might have to give them some extra to get them back on balance. Yeah? Um, I have a female dog and 